So I'm continuing to make good progress on the clock. Uh, but what I'm into now is making the hands. Uh, it's one of the last uh, set of parts I need to make. Uh, making the hands on the um, CNC is really where it shines versus trying to do something like this on a manual mill. Uh, it's thin metal. Uh, I use tape to hold it down. Uh, but it's very straightforward uh, making this. You can see these are the hands for the, uh, for the date, for the day. They're all basically the same and for the month. This right here is uh, my uh, minute hand. Still got to make the hour hand. But what I thought would be interesting to do in this video is this bushing uh, that's used to hold the hour hand onto its, uh, its uh, shaft here. It needs to be a pressure fit. Um, it's a lot of lathe work. Not a lot, but I think it'll be interesting to see uh, how we make this and how I can make it sure that it's got a good fit on this uh, shaft. So that's what we'll do this video. Hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope you're enjoying the build of this uh, skeleton clock. Uh, it's getting there. Still a lot of work to do, um, but progress. So the first thing I did is came off and faced the shaft. Uh, get a clean hold, come in with the center drill. Uh, make that center drill, get ready for the uh, hole. See, I'll put a little bit of lubricant. Keeping the chips clean and then come in here with a drill. Uh, this is an undersized drill because uh, I need to make this a taper. Um, so going in there, cleaning it up. It's a pretty big cut. So you gotta take some time, keep cleaning those chips so the drill keeps straight in that hole. Then I turn down the OD. You want this really thin because it's gotta be a, kind of a spring fit that's gonna go on that uh, shaft. For the final cut, put a little bit of lubricant, get yourself a nice clean cut in there and then I cleaned that up with a good file um, that I use just for brass. You can see what I'm doing now is I'm parting this uh, part off. Uh, and you'll see I want to get it over to my other lathe. And the picture's not great, but I've got a boring bar in here. And I've got this set at about a one degree uh, angle on this uh, cross slide. Um, so that now has a taper fit. I'm checking it on a pin. Use a gauge pin to see how that is. And now I just need to... Uh, uh, put the shoulder on this and cut that part off and then it's getting pretty close to be finished Just make sure this shoulder is the right uh, dimension come in there with a mic And I apologize for the uh, photography you know, I've got Not a great shot here, but you can get the idea of what's going on. So park that piece off now what I did is I went down the first build here in Louisville, Kentucky, where I have a bridge port, because I put, got to use a slitting saw, and I like using that on a manual mill. Um, I come down there, find the top of that hole, um, and with a 020 slitting saw, I go, re I go really careful, because those walls are only about 8 thousandths. Uh, so I really walked myself in, uh, making sure I was on center um, and not taking off too much material at a pass, just taking my time on that. It's easier on this than doing this in the CNC. Uh, you get a feel, it's a very sensitive piece right now. And you can see I've got that 5C collet locked in that vise. Um, works out really well, good way to hold that part. So if you look at the piece, I've got the hour hand mounted. Uh, this still needs to be, of course, polished and blued. Uh, but you can see the part, tough to see the, the saw the slit we put in here but it's got a taper and you can see it'll go on this part and it pushes right on here and perfect fit so i'm pleased with how it came out um, i think it'll uh it'll end up very nice so a fun part to make hope you enjoyed it if you do uh please subscribe and leave me any comments thanks and we'll see you soon